cold, it's wet, it's miserable. I mean, I love England, but here, here is something else. Now I've got the sun, I've got the mates with me, I've got you. Our life couldn't be better. Are you sure it can get any better? Because I could definitely think of something. Ooh. Give me a minute. OK. <laughs> Morris? It's Maurice. What the hell happened? What happened? Shake! Stay back, man. I'm warning you. Oh, shit. Jake, I I'm sorry. I had to, man. It's OK, Barry. Careful, it's Jake. He's it. Oh, fuck. She's the same as me, Barry. Always has been. Always will be. <laughs> Morning. Oh. Thank you for not being undead. Uh, thank you for sucking at video games. I've corrupted you. You know? oh. never got near one of those things when we first met. Hold that thought and do not die. Oh, shit, I've got to get ready. Huh? My dad's paying a surprise visit. When does he get here? Oh, he's already arrived. Uh -huh. Yeah, Murphy. At ease, soldier. Didn't realize he was scheduled to visit this year. Kimberly hadn't mentioned it. And because I didn't want her to know in advance. It's uh, easier that way. She's at that difficult age. Yeah. It'll sneak attack, huh? Shoot in under cover of darkness, and bam! Next thing Charlie knows, it's all beans and mother lovers for breakfast. Yeah. The ash of bean. I mean, I know uh, me and her mother's splitting has been kind of tough on her. So. She's been fine. Reassuring to know she has a strong, stabilizing influence here. Yeah, I do my best. I meant her boyfriend. Permission to speak freely, sir. Granted. He's a boneheaded moron, a slack-jawed, drooling numbnut of terrifying proportions. You check that attitude into the door, soldier. If anything, he reminds me of myself at that age. This country could do with more men like him. You're meeting the parents, huh? That's, that's the big one. And I'm, I'm all hung over, and my hair's doing that weird thing. It's OK. And... You don't have to. Really? Wait, is this a trap? You know, I agree with you, and then you get all mad at me, and then we... No, it's not a trap. I think my dad's found out I've dropped out of college, and considering I kept cashing his checks... Ah. Yeah, probably facing a major ass whipping. so... Better if I fly solo on this one, OK? OK. OK. Mm. Mm. Nam, you'd be dead. Dad. <laughs> uh, Kimbo. Mm. Oh. Yeah, but you hate me right now, huh? Surprise visit and all. Oh, it wouldn't be you if you did things the easy way. Eyes nice front. Good morning, Beaver Falls. Jesus H. Christ. Elvis Aaron Presley and the notorious B.I.G. What do they have in common? They all died under the age of 50. But you know who didn't? My beloved wife. Pam, who today hits that glorious <laughs> milestone. You have got to be kidding me. Let's hear it for Pam. 50 and still going strong. I am not 50. Oh, that, that's right, she's not 50. She's 21, all over again. 
For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. For she's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. So Looks like Dad's really got his game face on. It's a good choice, too. It's totally her weak spot. It's a bit childish. Oh, she deserves it. And so say all of us. Yeah! Uh, guys, shouldn't you be doing something? Shouldn't you? Good point. We mourn in our loss. Uh, lads, Thurston didn't die. He just went home. There's legions of jacks up there. And only three of us left? Man, we easy meet. See, the Jots loved picking on Thurston. He was like the deflector shield to our Millennium Falcon. Now he's gone. Well, you got me and, and Arab, Flynn, haven't you? Hey, we'll watch your back. Don't pretend you care about us. You only care about following that lifeguard around. Yeah. How come you're not humping our leg right now? I just want to go meet her dad. Without you. Yeah, without me. <laughs> What? Oh, come on, man. Wake up and smell the bananas. She didn't take you to meet her old man because she's embarrassed by you. Why would she be embarrassed by me? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, how's Jake? Jake? Yeah. Good. Oh. Has he made up his mind about enlisting yet? We could do with a man like him to help kick the butt of Johnny Al-Qaeda. <laughs> we haven't really uh, discussed it. No. Uh, speaking of which... Why are you here? Is there some kind of, uh, problem? No, no. <clears throat> Nothing major. Just something I wanted to, uh, discuss. We could do it over dinner. Invite Jake. It'd be great to see him again. He probably has plans or something. Well, then you tell him it's a direct order, Private. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> Seriously? No, I mean it. You know, it's your birthday, so have a good one. Thank you. Uh, I've been avoiding you. Yeah, I kind of got that. It's not because of your illness. I know you probably don't want to talk about it, and uh, I'm not the gushy type. But if you did need to speak to someone, I'm... I know. It's all right, thanks. It's just now that Laurie's bought the camp, I've got to keep my eye on the prize. It was fun, though, right? Yeah, it was. Um, no way Pam's 50. Of course she's not. She's not even close. I feel bad for her. Bobby just pushed this whole birthday thing to piss her off. Well, maybe you could uh, cheer her up, you know, in your own special way, like last summer. It's in the past, and it's staying there. PG knows nothing about it, so zip it. Uh, if you lads need any advice on your lady friends, just, you know, I'm happy to help. Woo, kid! I'm there! Yeah, I'm not saying I've got this whole relationship thing totally worked out, but I've totally got it worked out. Sure you do. Yeah. Maybe we should keep moving. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, sir. See where Kimberly gets her good looks from. That line probably works better on mums. Dad, this is, um, Arab, Flynn and... Barry. Uh, my co-workers, so it's uh, hello and goodbye. Just wanted to say that uh, your, your daughter's a really special girl. A uh, real credit to your, um... Don't say loins. Loins. Dad, I need to get back to work. Uh, we'll talk tonight, OK? Sure, sure. Um, see you later, sir. I mean, I'd love to stand all day with you, Dad, but you know, we don't want to... She's ashamed of me. Yeah, I mean, you only complimented her father and how pretty he is and how wonderful his crotch must be. Maybe she's got her reasons. You know, maybe she doesn't think you're serious about her. I don't know. Maybe she knows your reputation. Maybe she's got issues of her own. Whoa, 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 whoa. Five-second rule in effect. What? Mate, whenever you give advice, it takes, like, five seconds for it to be all about you and your problems. <sighs> that was about him, not me. Yeah. She said it was about dropping out of college, but that's no reason for her not to introduce me. Probably screwed up. I, should, I shouldn't have moaned. I should have insisted that I went with her. It was a trap. So, wait a minute. Your girlfriend, who <laughs> we're not even allowed to call your girlfriend, won't even admit the two of you are together, and yours is pretending you're a total stranger. Now, I'm not saying I got this whole relationship thing figured out, but I totally got it figured out. Look, I just need to catch up with her and apologise. You know, be, be really enthusiastic, super enthusiastic. You look like a serial killer.
Sorry, I, I thought you were the door. Oh, is Kimberly there at all? No, asshole. Right, well, I, I'll just wait inside then, shall I? I'm going to close my eyes, and when I open them, you are not going to be positive pregnancy test. One, two. Oh, fuck. Ready for an encore? We should be getting out there. Oh, what is that smell? Is that... Repression? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. All that stuff about British blokes being sexually hung up is, you know, bollocks. Really? You guys are so famous for being inhibited, it's actually a thing? Wow, that explains a lot. No. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not. Mm. I'm not. Is that repressed? Huh? Is that repressed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Is that repressed? Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Sorry, that's, that's my fault. Um, no, I just I didn't think that you'd still be doing whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, we'll be out soon. Well, soon-ish. Sorry, I know we've been using it a lot lately, but, you know, if you and Mac ever want to use it for some privacy, you know, just say the word. Uh, no, it's... Fine. Oh, God, that doesn't sound good. Do you want to talk about it? No, I just mean, it's fine. Okay. Bye. Awkward. High five. You can't use your hands in soccer. I saw you pick the ball up earlier. Hey. hey. Have you seen Arab? I'm, I'm not sure I'm getting the subtle details of this sport. Yeah, I saw him. All of him. Him and Hope are in my cabin. The two of them are baking cookies. Big pile of cookies. I think they've been baking all morning. Oh, they just started uh, cooking together. You know how it is in the beginning. You want to bake all the time. You know, it'd be nice. We could use the kitchen sometimes has been a while. I just think, you know, we've got the culinary skills. We might as well use them. Get together later and bake a big box of cookies. Uh, sure, sounds good. Okay. He's taken this quite well. Absolutely. I'm impressed. <laughs> My life is over. Such a mature, considered reaction. Yeah, he's got the whole fetal position and the, the whimper. Do I detect a bit of thumb? <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzballs! Facts are facts! She's pregnant! I'm gonna be a dad! Might not be yours. I mean, it might not be Kimberly's test. You know how girls like to share everything. It was in her drawer, Lynn, beneath her stuff. It's not PJ's. No, it's Kimberly's. It's mine. Well, go and talk to her. Sure, you can be a grown up. You said you wanted to show her how serious you were about the two of you. Well, that was then, before the. What else are you gonna do? Run? That would be a bad thing, right? No, 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 that'd be great. Yeah. You run away and leave her to deal with everything. Start a new life under an assumed name. Genius. It's just, this is my first proper girlfriend, and I really, I really like her. But I'm just a big fucking kid. You know, I love toys, computer games. I thought Transformers was a good movie. Even the sequels? Especially the sequels. No, seriously, because the last one didn't even make sense. I mean, why did the Autobots pretend to leave Earth? Because the Decepticons had to think that they were dead. Yeah, but that just allowed the Decepticons to level half a city and kill thousands of people. Yeah, but see, Optimus Prime said that the human beings had to realise that they needed the Autobots, and again, the element of surprise... Guys, 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 me... guys, guys! <laughs> we're going a bit off topic, don't you think? But Barry, just go and speak to her. Trust me. God, that's... that's probably why she didn't want me to meet her dad. 
had nothing to do with college. No. She was going to tell him about our... About our baby. Baby, yes. Yeah, I, I really have to discuss this with her. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Why are you pretending to your dad that you're still with Jake? Because I haven't told him that I've dropped out of college. Oh, oh, so you think that alone is bad enough, but throw new boyfriend Barry into the mix. You really care about impressing him, huh? You know what I think? I think, fuck it. It's nobody else's business what you do. You should just tell him the truth. Sure. Just like you do. Telling your mom and your dad and everyone else about you and Flynn. Oh, that's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> now I see what you did there. Yeah. Really good. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he hasn't even told me why he's here. You okay? Yeah, I, I just feel like someone's watching us. have been answered. Hello, campers. I trust you are all having a wonderful Pamela day. I know I am. On a day like today, you can just let all your worries slip away. And remember, if you see Pam, be sure to wish her a happy birthday. Our special girl can't hear it enough times. Happy birthday, Pam. Happy birthday. Hey, Pam, happy birthday. And don't forget, not long till Pam's big birthday bash. And now, a golden oak for my lovely wife, which will take her way, way, way back to her younger days. It's not funny. <laughs> it is to me. Right now, Mom will be about to burst a blood vessel. <laughs> when did you become such a spoiled brat? <laughs> when did you start giving a shit? I just hate her birthdays, OK? She always used to make me dress up like some stupid Barbie. That's such a hard life, PJ. When I was 16, I said, OK, you know what? Fine, I'll wear the goddamn dress. And so I'm upstairs getting ready. And um, Kenny, my boyfriend at the time, drops around. Mom shows him in, and she fixes him a drink. And um, by the time I got downstairs, she was making out with him on the couch. I'm standing there looking like a fucking idiot in this hideous dress. You know what she said to me? What did she say? She said... I cannot believe that you were buying this Hallmark movie of the week bullshit. Come on. <laughs> you know, for one lovely moment, I thought you were being straight with me. Aw, cry me a river. You spend so much of your time trying to convince people you don't give a shit about your parents, about me, about anything. You know what? I'm convinced. You win. Good. Mission accomplished. I'm so glad we kept this whole thing casual. Because now it means I don't have to stand here and put up with your bullshit anymore. Have a nice day. It's all about angles. No, down together. Perfect. You'll be hitting homers before the summer's through. Hey, you're up. Yeah. Kim. Hey. Listen, I, uh, I heard this rumor that the captain's in town, is it? Is it? Yeah, he um, actually invited you to join us at dinner tonight. OK, D he doesn't know that we split? Uh, no. What about you dropping out of college? I sort of keep him on a need-to-know basis. Sounds like you could use some backup. So, yeah, dinner sounds good. Oh, I sort of didn't mean that as an invitation. <laughs> what is it, beard and hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I will have you know that I have the electric shaver charging up as we speak. Besides. I end up starting to forget what my chin looks like. Well, uh, actually, yeah, it would be good if you joined us at dinner. Take some mm. of the heat off of me. Probably best not to mention it to, uh... Barry? <laughs> yeah, sure, I get it. I mean, he's a cool guy and everything. He's not exactly the captain's type. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, don't sweat it. You can depend on me. Finally, a little privacy. No, wait, what are we doing here? Mm. We? are having hot, steamy marital relations. Oh, in the middle of the day, I've got mm -hmm. my bunk waiting to go water mm -hmm. skiing. But 
When else are we gonna have time? And what do you think I brought you here for? To show you my awesome new job cleaning dishes? Well, no, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking about getting hot and steamy. You're a man. You should be thinking about it every seven seconds. How about now? Yeah, yeah. You must just mm. caught me off guard in that seven second window. <laughs> How's it going? Are you kidding me? Super sorry. I had no idea that you guys would be getting it on in the kitchen in the middle of the day with the door unlocked. Uh, yeah, me neither. Well, it's good to see you guys have got it simmering again, Rachel. Okay, um, I'll go. Sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's cool. No, it's not cool. It's far from cool. Just fuck off? Yes, that. Thank you. Rachel! No, it's fine. Just consider me fucked off. <laughs> I just meant, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. We never get any time alone. You should think that this is a big deal. She didn't barge in on purpose. You don't know her. I think she did. Well, you don't know her either. You've only known her a few weeks. Give her a chance. It's, it's not easy with you sniping at her all the time. She's harmless. Like, a little, a little goofy, but in a fun way. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad that she's fun. Oh, no, come on. No, you go enjoy your water skiing. I have dishes to scour. Yay, me. Yes. Ah! Oh, 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 man. I think we have a championship winning team shaping up here. Am I right? <laughs> hey, thanks, man. All right, one more, but this time home run. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, man, no, no, no. I know what's going on. Oh no, it's it's not. We're just we're just friends. That's all. It's friends. It's it's nothing to worry about. No, no, not that. It's okay. I know. Know what? I, I was in your bunk earlier. I was sort of looking for skins, and I found it. Found what? The baby thing. The pregnancy test. Barry. Is it mine? What? Wait, it's just that you didn't tell me about it. I had to find out myself. Wait, let me get this straight. You think I'm pregnant, and the first question you ask me is, is it yours? Yes, Barry, it's yours. You're going to be a father. Now fuck off and leave me alone. Kim. Leave me alone. Oh. Yeah, that's perfect. Older sucks. You guys have no idea how much. Honestly, I envy you. What happened? Shut the fuck up, man. What happened? Life happened. We asked 100 people the stupidest things someone can say to their girlfriend when they find out she's pregnant. Can we not focus on how much of an ass I am and look at the bigger picture? But once I was carefree, and now the weight of the world is crashing down upon me. I can't raise a kid. I don't have a job. I don't have any cash. Well, look at me. I'm Barry. I'm hungry. Don't. Yeah, me too. Wait. Thurston. Oh, man. Your grief is totally messed with your mind. Yeah, I mean, you know Thurston went home. Yeah. Move aside. Well, we can't. Uh, uh, the, the, the job. They, they super glued us to the ground. Move. He couldn't handle life on the outside. Guys, Bobby is gonna go ape shit if he finds out. He's gonna kick my ass out of here if he knows I've been harboring a fugitive, and then I'll never see my unborn child. Mind you, the way things are going, I'll probably never see it anyway. Or Kim. It doesn't matter. Either way, I sort of have to report this. Oh, come on. Please don't tell on me. I don't want to go home. Look, we're not letting Thurston down. If he goes, we all go. Look at you all. You wouldn't give up on him. You've got the courage of your convictions. I salute you. You're better men than I could ever be. Hey, bring us back some food. Our boy's starving here. Mac, Hope will be very upset if she finds out we're doing something sinful in her office. 
Better hurry up then. No, whoa, wait. Hi. What is this? An intervention? No, 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 no. I just thought it would be fun for the four of us to have a drink before the party. That's all. And hope hope thought so too. She just wants to get to know you, Rach. I spend enough time with her as it is. Yeah, but that's work stuff. This is different. Hey, did you ever see that movie Fox and Hound? No. Oh, well, um, they're meant to be enemies because that's their job. <sighs> but they actually become really good friends. Oh, or maybe one of them kills the other one. I don't <laughs> actually remember. They just insult that movie. Anyway, listen, what I'm trying to tell you yeah, is... Yeah, I kind of got the message. ...that you're a total fox. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> it's cool. It's just a drink. It'll be okay. This is a whack plan. There's a party. There's food. We can feed our boy to heart's content. This is a great plan. Two reasons why it sucks. One, it's not fucking Halloween. And two, it's not fucking Halloween. Well, you didn't complain when I dressed you up like a pirate. Can we have just, uh... No, Bob, food back to the bunk for Thurston. No, my plan's better. Here we go. Era has to say something nice to Rachel. And it better be good, otherwise it's shot o'clock. He's American. <laughs> Lame answer, buddy. Yeah, drink. <laughs> you guys used to date, so you probably have plenty of sweet things to say about her. This game is stupid. No, it's okay. Come on. She's a great dancer, or she does a mean Schwarzenegger impression, <laughs> or she's hot in the sack. No. What? She's not? No, I mean, how would I know? You know, we didn't, uh... No way. You, you guys, not even once? Okay, we really don't have to discuss my sex life. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to offend you. It's just knowing a rap like I do. That just really surprises me. It wasn't like, you know, I didn't want to, you know? I mean, there were feelings. Big feelings. <gasps> or small ones. I mean, it was ages ago. You know, I mean, who even remembers this stuff, you know? We just, uh, didn't. Whose guy was it? Well, I think it's a really good answer. Because Arab's basically saying that you're a pure and virtuous woman. And I'll drink to that. What do you want? Some of what you're hiding behind your back. Just don't mention my damn birthday. You're sitting in my thinking spot. <laughs> what do you have to think about? I have to grow up and be a man for Kimberly and, and... Yeah. When I said, what do you have to think about, I actually meant shut up and stop talking. I'm not 50. I'm not even close. And I'm scared of turning 50, and Bobby knows that, so he's making my birthday a personal hell day. Well, just sitting here and getting stoned just means he's won. What do you think I should do? Show up at the party, big smile? Yeah. <laughs> it's your party. You know, fuck it if it's for the wrong reasons. Bobby deals your lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> the happier you are, the more miserable he'll be. Thanks. Mm. Wait, it's your turn now. I just gave you the big, you know, inspirational speech. Now you have to do the same for me. Yes, <laughs> it's the rules. Ooh. You're out of shape, Barry. I bet you like to watch a lot of movies, right? Mm. So, in this one, Geek got the prom queen. Well, yeah. Uh, although, I like to think of myself as more of a hipster than a geek. So what do you think happens after the credits roll? Do you really think the prom queen stays happy with her choice? That the geek's goofy charm doesn't wear thin? 
and that the jock stays out of the picture and doesn't come back bigger and stronger for the sequel. You need to up your game if you want to hang on to her. I think I'm really fucked up, though. Then go fix it while well, you've still got the chance. Nice one. Thanks. Hey! Can't leave now. Pam's party's about to start. Uh, it's just for dinner. Well, we have cake and nibbles and sausage things. She'd be heartbroken if you ducked out of her party. You have to be there. We have reservations. Cancel them. Um, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Say yes. Go on. Yes. Go on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we hear you loud and clear, Bobby. We'll rendezvous at the party later. Dad, I thought you wanted to talk. Okay, so I panicked before, but now the panic is over. Not now. I'm happy that you're pregnant, and I am going to be the best dad that I can be. Now, we're going to struggle a little bit at Wait, first. You're pregnant? She hasn't told you? I'm you? not pregnant. You are. She really is. She's actually beginning to show a little bit. Oh, but... Jesus, Kim, what about your life? What about college? How could you be so stupid? Well, college doesn't really matter because she's already dropped out. Barry, shut up. It wasn't a pregnancy test. It was a water purity tester. I'm a lifeguard. What? But you said... No, you said. But I've been to hell and back over this. And you deserved it. Is it mine? What? Wait, who the heck is this guy? I'm Barry. Barry, the boyfriend. Son, I don't know what your malfunction is, but you need to get your facts straight. You seriously think she'd be interested in a guy like you? And for your information, soldier, before Bobby stepped in, me, Kim, and her boyfriend were on our way out to dinner. Jake. You're... You're Jake again. Oh, God. Pam is a prophet. Jake, this asshole's claiming to be my little girl's boyfriend. If you want to kick his butt, I'll stand aside. You told your dad you were still with Jake. Uh, it's not that simple. It is. Either you did or you didn't. And either you're going out for dinner together or you're not. And Jesus, he looks fucking handsome. So just tell me what the hell is going on. I'm sorry. It's a bad timing and everything, but are we, are we going to dinner or not? <laughs> One thing, just say one nice thing. Maybe about her hair? Mm. <laughs> no. <gasps> nope. Sorry, I got nothing. Ugh. Rules of the game, right? I keep going until I can think of something nice to say about you? Well, yeah. No, but... that's what makes the game so fun. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Guys, she, uh, she's great for Arab. <laughs> Say anything. <laughs> Actually, I do admire her ability to use sex to get guys' attention and to make herself feel better. I wish I could do that. Drink? I can't believe you dropped out of college. You should have informed me. Stat priority one. I thought you knew. It's why you came here, for the big lecture. No, that's, that's Look, not why I... I know you have this whole college plan mapped out for me. And I'm sorry, I'm not that girl, and... Why are you here, then? I've met someone. Oh. Her name's Phoenix. She's, uh... a little younger than... How much younger? <clears throat> She's 21. And she's also carrying my child. Does Mom know? Well, I thought it might be better coming from you. You're incredible, you know that? You seriously expect me to do your dirty work for you? I am your father. You do not speak to me like that. And you certainly don't occupy the moral high ground, young lady. Not since you've quit college and you're dating that... that thing. That thing is named Barry. You know, Barry has his faults, but he is a, a decent, honest person, and 
he says what he thinks, even though sometimes it's borderline incomprehensible. But if he's so he's great, a... Kimbo, why did you pretend that Jake was still your boyfriend? So if Kimberly's not pregnant, then why did you think she was in the first place? Because of the water tester. I've got no idea what that is. It's someone that looks like a pregnancy test if you're a fucking moron. <sighs> How's our baby daddy? Ah, false alarm. Oh, at least someone has some good news. I just had to sit through the party game from hell. Did it involve your girlfriend pretending that Jake was still her boyfriend because she's so embarrassed of you? Well, obviously not. Mine did. I win. Again. <sighs> it's just like my dream. Him, her, her dad. They're vampires, and, and I'm not. No, I'm normal blood. That Jake and Kim are going to end up together, and I'm just in the way. Hey, man. I had no idea that Kimberly told her dad that we were still together. I mean, as horrified as you are. Yeah, I'm sure you are. All torn up inside, shedding your fucking vampire tears. I'm really not getting this vampire thing. No idea. Barry. You're obsessed with this divide, you know, the jock, the geek. They're just labels. I mean, we're men, we're the same. I feel your pain, your anger. If you want to hit me, just go ahead, do it. I'm not going to fight back. Oh, what's the point? Probably just break my hand on your perfect fucking jawline. It looks good. Damn. <laughs> Having fun? You know, Bobby, I actually am. It's a real blast. Luke, I've been staring at you. I'm in plain sight. Really in plan, even if I do say so myself. You're wearing a dress. Yep. I feel like a dick. <laughs> Happy birthday and all that. You do this for me? Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. Hi, Rachel. It's okay. You come dance with me. It's come a fine game. You get to just spin the bottle and say nice things. Come on. Whee! I think it's super nice. That Pam is such a good wife and mom, but she made out with PG's boyfriend at the prom. Well, <laughs> it's good to share, right? Yeah, it wasn't the prom, actually. It was her birthday, so I guess today's a big day for me, too. <laughs> Yay, me. I also think it's lovely that you guys are so screwed up that you can't even make much you like each other. Thanks. Boom! Who's next? I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Yeah, well, now you do. So why did you wear the dress? So that you wouldn't think that I was a spoiled brat. Who's the next? Stop this right now! I don't really know which one of you is pointing to, but you, you're a little too old for him. And he hasn't had sex with me for weeks. So what would be great is if I could change right here, right Matt, now. Matt, restrain your wife. Mary, we can do whatever. <laughs> oh. Hello? What did Rachel say to you? Just that I was an idiot for making you feel guilty about your mum's birthday. No, she didn't. She said some slurred stuff about you and me. And how we can't let each other know how we feel. Can we just skip the part where we discuss feelings? Let's just say that you're a... a really bad boyfriend and I'm a really good girlfriend. Because I'm going to say that it's cool. You know, we, we don't have to talk about it. We have to be boyfriend and girlfriend for that to work. OK. Then it's cool. Dress is pretty hideous, though. Why, thank you. <laughs> Just 
don't make out with my mom, okay? <laughs> Let's just not involve them at all, huh? Oh. Oh. I'd like my boyfriend to meet my dad. Yeah, well, Jake's over there somewhere. I'd like you, my boyfriend, to meet my dad. Hello, Mr. Kimberly. I'm Barry. Barry, the boyfriend. There's probably a, a few things you should know about me. Um, I'm wearing your daughter's underwear. Also, I don't enjoy any forms of sport unless they're computerised. Oh, oh, and I think the healthcare provision in your country is a total joke. Also, I, I don't have any savings in the bank whatsoever. Or a job. Or a prospect of ever getting one. And if he ever has a child, he's going to name it Lando. Regardless of gender. Also, I'm in love with your daughter. I do love you. I know. Nice to meet you, sir. Drunk! On camp, and during my special event, I have no choice. It's an instant dismissal. You can't do that, surely. Yes, I can. Uh, well, what I think Arab is trying to say is that it's not a wise move. You'll have to log a dismissal reason with head office, and since you're in charge... What, you're saying it's my fault? No, I'm saying you need to shut this down and make sure you don't take any heat. I'll make sure she gets some counseling for her alcohol and behavioral problems three times a week. That should cover our backs. Fine. Yeah, make it so. <laughs> Deb, what about the... the child? Same situation. Unregistered on camp property. Potentially nasty lawsuit. Mm-hmm. I'll re-register him. Backdate it, call his mother, make it right. You see? Me and Thurston, we have a special understanding, don't we, Thurston? <laughs> You're so tall. I have a mission for you, soldier. Operation Daddy's Girl. You're on the direct orders to win back my daughter. Storm that beach, son, and hold it. No foreigner's gonna sully my little piece of America. You copy that? Negative. What? You really wanted to go out with a guy like that? No, no, no. You, you didn't let me finish. See, a direct approach, it's not gonna work. The defenses are too strong. Covert. Operations, sir. We sneak in, win the war, before the enemy even realizes the battle's begun. I like your thinking, soldier. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> hey, guys. Nah. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> okay. totally leered you. Empire Strikes Back, Princess Leia Tan. I love you. I know. 
I can't be Leia. I always thought I was Han. I'm Han. I'm Luke. Well, who the hell am I, then? Chewbacca. Chewbacca.